Hey guys, so in lieu of doing a 4th of July post, I thought I would do a really quick sunglasses try on for you so you can actually see what sunglasses look like on a person because I feel like models have specific types of faces and I feel like all the sunglasses that look really good on other people look horrible on me. So I rounded up a few that I actually think look okay and they're not your typical aviators which is what you usually find me in. So all of them are Ray-Ban because I tend to like Ray-Bans and I like the standardized sizing for them so I can sort of gauge when I see pictures of them up next to each other how they're gonna fit my face. But anyway, um, I'm picking five fairly well, I guess rounded shades across the board, so you have options depending on what your style is. All right, the first one are these typical, these are your typical Wayfarers. Uh, these are the originals, and they actually, I got the smaller size, and I will link every single one of these products below, so I'm just gonna call them sunglass one, two, three, four, five, just so that you know which one you're going for. But these, if you can tell, they actually angle into your face, the bad thing about these is if you wear makeup, it's going to lift right here. So these are good if you're going to be out on the lake or you're going to be one of those cool people that doesn't have to wear makeup. But if you're wearing makeup, don't pick this sucker because it will lift on your nose and it will lift on your cheeks because it does angle in right there onto your actual face. But they're super cute and like I said, I got the smaller size, but I'll link everything below. Next up is the newest version from Ray-Ban. So these, the entire, as you can see, it's an iridescent, this is an iridescent purple, but the entire face of the sunglasses is flat. So, if you guys can tell, that's what they look like from the side. But, I mean, it's just one, there's no frame. The frame's on the back and then it's just, the front is one one entire piece, which I feel like looks futuristic and kind of awesome, but this one actually doesn't touch my face the way a typical one does. So it only touches on the nose, which is great because if I want to wear makeup, then it won't lift right on my cheeks. But I like that, and these also come in other colors as well. So this is another one of their standard styles. This is a little bit more square on the bottom as a box instead of rounded on the sides. I like it, it's not my favorite out of all of them, but if you wanted something just a little bit different than an aviator or a typical Wayfarer, this is a good option for you. And I really like them. Um, I like that none of these, well, except for one, none of these actually have the little pads, the wire pads that stick on your nose. Because in the summertime I do this a lot, just when I'm like walking inside to talk to somebody, and if you have the little wire part, my hair gets stuck in it. And I know that sounds like a stupid reason not to like sunglasses, but it is what it is. Also, you notice I didn't turn my phone off. Hold on a second. All right, since, you know, amateur hour over here. Now these are the furthest out of my comfort zone. These also have the wire rims on either side of the nose. These are the lightest sunglasses I have ever found in my life. And normally I'm not a big fan of the rounded, but I actually kind of like the way these look. Um, and like I said, they're so stinking light that it wins me over with the roundedness. And I know round's super popular right now, but I always feel like I look like a weird person when I wear round. These I like better. So these are definitely a really, really good option for you. If you wanted to try out the round trend, but didn't want like out and out, just round sunglasses, love these. And then the last ones you guys have seen before because I've had them for over a year and I love them. Now you can see the camera in the mirror or everything behind the windows. Um, these are highly, highly reflective glass. I love them. I love that there's a little bit of a bridge right here. Um, they're super comfortable. I like them a lot. I wear them all the time and they're just, they're kind of funky and you obviously don't have to get this blue lens on it if you don't want them, but I like them a lot and they've just been sort of a staple for me if I want something a little bit more fun that wasn't just a basic aviator because you guys know I love my aviators, but I'm trying to branch out. So anyway, those are my picks for the 4th of July. All of the links are below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to go reach out. This post will actually be on my Instagram, which is at styleassisted, and that's where I usually interact the most with you guys because YouTube is just presents such issues for me. And I don't know why I can't comment back to you guys, but 
we're still trying to figure out. Anyway, so if you actually want to get in touch with me, you can head over to the blog, which is styleassisted.com, or you can go over to Instagram, and I am always on one of those two places. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!